Hey guys, it's Roscoe, and on the Space Cat set, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this the Hot Wheels Atat and Land Speeder. I got this from TK Maxx. I have quite a good Star Wars selection of things in there. So let me see if I can get this open. I'm not that fussed about the packaging on this one, as it is a less premium piece. So, I have always wanted an Atat and a Snow Speeder, but generally they're usually just too expensive. Because they're huge normally. The Atats are like they are the size of dogs. <laughs> and the Snow Speeder was like, oh, it's quite heavy actually. Bring that one out. And let's get the Atat. I'm very excited, of course, about the new um, versions of the Atats in Rogue One. Now, does he want to come out? Yeah, I'm paranoid about breaking these on unboxing. On this is almost as frustrating as the ties uh, in the Elite series. Come out, come out. There we are. Yes. So, does he move his legs? Move away. Let's have a look at him first. Yeah, this is not bad detailing. Considering the size, of course. Oh, you can't see him if I stand him up. Um, his legs don't really move, but the it's essentially well, uh, like so, yeah. <laughs> and that's what happens when they get attacked later. So he stands like that, in like mid stride, I guess. Now let's have a look at the snow speeder. I love this craft. It's a wonderful shape. The front, this part, very much reminiscent of a, um, a Y-wing. I was going to say a U-wing for a second there. But yes, that is exactly what it looks like. Love these ships. Um, I believe the Black Series versions of these are a little bit bigger. It costs more than two of these together. But the canopy opens and the air flaps open on that one. Not on this one, though. This is just a smaller piece. So there was, I believe, um, a stand... For this, can it go in like that? Will that work like that? Just about, you can see, but I'll hold it up better so you can see. And I can also put my finger in it and I can now attack my Atat. <laughs> Fly around the legs and tie them up, I guess, and bring it down. I wonder if we will see that in Rogue One. I suspect they're just going to blow up those Atats that they have there. So here we are. There's a closer look at it on there. There is it from there. Have a look at the underneath. There's not that much detailing on there, really. But yes, like I said, always wanted an Atat and a Snow Speeder. And usually the toys of those were just so big it would be impractical for me as an adult, of course. But yes, classic, classic ships. Well, if, you know what I mean. It's not a ship, but vehicle, I suppose. So there they are. Land Speeder and Attack. That was um, 5 or 6 99 from TK Maxx. It was on reduction, I think. That's about half price. But they had quite a decent selection. They also have that four-pack of um, the hero ships. So I think there's a Falcon, the Ghost, uh, Jedi, um, Starfighter and it'll probably be an X-Wing or it might be like an A-Wing, something like that. And they've got various combinations. They've got Imperial ones that has Kylo Ren, Shuttle, TIE Fighter, Mini Star Destroyer, that sort of thing. So it's a decent range for the price. It's not bad at all. But yes, I'm very happy with these. Atat and Snow Speeder. Classic vehicles from Empire Strikes Back, of course. Absolutely iconic, the pair of them. I hope you enjoyed these as well, guys. Um, let me know if you've got any from this range, because like I said, there's uh, three or four different um, packs of ships. There's this, the two in this one. Some of the others have four. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestion for a coming topic you'd like to see discussed, or like the video.